Hi! Welcome back to the vlogs! Oh my god! This is my first time filming or first vlog that I'm making as a married woman. Wow, welcome. We got married. And now these are married life vlogs, so strap in. They're gonna be no different than the regular ones, but that's so exciting! Um, we got back from our honeymoon six days ago, and we've just been like trying to get back into the swing of things and unpack and get our lives together and so and then I was like not feeling very well the last couple days I was having some stomach issues so now we're back and we're vlogging and I'm so excited and you guys have just been with me through so much oh my god I'm gonna get emotional get ready it's Friday Sam and Nat are coming into town tomorrow Nat's birthday is today and I got her this like cherry she's a cat named pumpkin Nat loves cherries and so I got her a pumpkin or a cherry shaped cat tree for her birthday so I'm gonna build it for her because I don't think it'd be nice to just give her an unbuilt thing so I'm gonna build it for her right now and we're gonna get into this vlog I have really missed you guys I'm in my office closet because that's where I'm gonna build this because I don't know I don't I don't want my cats to see it and then think it's for them and it's not for them even though I don't think they would think that much about it but Okay, let's build this bitch. Oh my god, this is gonna be really cute. It has a little leaf hammock that she can lay in. And then these are the stems. We'll top her. No, you don't top her. Step one, attach and screw together the long cylinder, the branch. And here. This is like the part that I just simply do not understand. Yeah, totally, 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 totally. Uh, uh. Like how do they think that this is like supposed to work? No, but see, like, I shouldn't fucking see this thing. Oh my God. Why, why are you falling out of my fucking hand every single time I turn? Aren't I being super pleasant? <laughs> <laughs> I hate this. I'm on my period right now, if you can't tell. <laughs> uh, nope. See, I'm glad I didn't just give this to her in, in the package because like, this would be the worst fucking birthday gift of all time to give to someone. Okay, well, I guess we'll come back. I hate when I can't do this shit alone. Like, it makes me feel like not an independent woman, you know? I need to breathe. So we're gonna come back to the cherry. Okay, we did it. It's a ball sack. Cody had the bright idea to put it on a bunch of boxes. It does look like a ball sack, kind of. <laughs> That's cow. Nat's birthday gift. Nat! It's me. I just got back from Pilates a little bit ago, and Cody and I are about to have some cheese sticks. <laughs> and also... We're about to have our morning cheese sticks. <laughs> cheese stick time. 11 a.m. cheese stick time. But while we have our morning cheese stick time, we want to tell you about today's sponsor. SoFi. Let's go to the table. Hey, Cody. Hey. So fine. Yeah. Well, it's actually so fine. That's so true. That's so fine. And I just want to thank So Five for sponsoring this next little portion of the video. What is it? SoFi? Yeah. Oh, thanks for asking. It's the only one finance app that's helping you bank, borrow, and invest so you can get your money right. Oh. As you probably know, we just got married. If you didn't know. If you didn't know, we that's did. That's insane. And uh, we we'll also went on a honeymoon, all of which were uh, very expensive. And so it was important that we were keeping a close eye on our finances, which you can do with SoFi. That is very true, Cody. And the SoFi checking and savings is great for a few reasons. What are they? Well, first off, SoFi is legit. Mm. They comply with the strict regulatory standards of the FDIC, so you can be sure your money is safe. Oh, good, okay. <laughs> but I've also heard you can earn more money on your money. Really? With their up to 4% APY savings account. Is that true? Yes. And that's 11 times the national savings average. Holy oh, heck! Yeah. That just in five weeks, you can make more money on your money in a SoFi account than you could in another big bank's savings account in a year? Wait, does that mean that in just five weeks, you can make more in a SoFi savings account than you could in a year in another big bank savings account? Wow. Yeah. Crazy, right? Yeah. When you bank with SoFi, they hook it up. <laughs> you get paid up to two days early, you pay no account fees, and you can cash in on up to $250 when you sign up for direct deposit. Wow. Yeah, what? talk about hooking it up. Yeah. Seriously, right? That is hooking it up. So what do you do if you like need help with your account? Oh, like customer service? Yeah. Oh, 
Easy. SoFi has live customer service available seven days a week. Wait, that's seven out of eight days a week? Wait, no, there's seven days in a week. So that's every day. Yeah, and you get access to SoFi's financial planners. Wow. And those financial planners are at no additional cost. And these financial planners that I'm yapping about? They're certified fiduciaries, right? Monday by the light. Wake up like a fiduciary. <laughs> No, but really, like, that means that they're legally required to keep you in their best interest. Yeah, right. No, so no, no upselling, no quotas, no ulterior motives. Exactly. Well, we talked so much about SoFi hooking it up. How are we hooking it up with SoFi? <laughs> <laughs> Here's the exciting part, you guys. SoFi and I are going to give away $5,000 to one of you who signs up for a SoFi checking and savings account right now using my link. Just click that link in the description or scan the QR code that's on the screen. And you'll be automatically entered for a chance to win when you sign up. But make sure to use my link because it's the only way you'll be entered to have a chance to win. All right, now back to the vlog. And now Cody and I are going on a date. And I don't know why we're volunteering to leave the house in this insane rain, but we are. So you guys are going to get ready with me. I have this leather jacket. It's raining pretty heavily outside. I kind of want to make this leather jacket work. It's a little bit oversized, but not too oversized. Like I could wear a sweater with it. And so I wanted to wear like a sweater with a jacket, jeans, mm -hmm. boots, but all of a sudden I'm hating that. I would like to wear like heels, but like little boot, heeled booties, but I'm worried I'll slip and fall. Let's just try on the outfit first and then We'll see. Because I'm like really not sold on this fit that I just, like the most boring fit of all time that I just created. I actually like the way that the sweater looks with the jacket, you know? And I just don't really have time to play around because I'm late, as always. But isn't the sweater cute, like the off the shoulder? So I think I'm gonna wear my black leather jacket and I'm gonna make that one work with this sweater another time. I just need more time to think about it. Maybe black pants. I don't know. Give me ideas in the comments. Now we have about four seconds to let's make a bond because Cody has already yelled at me twice to see if I'm ready. I don't know why I'm talking so quietly. I'm like shy to see you guys all of a sudden. This is a Rare Beauty concealer brush. I have just been getting so into makeup lately. I think I've always like in the back of my mind wanted to, but I just never knew where to begin. Then I took the plunge and I'm not saying I'm like a professional, obviously, or even like really that good at it, but I'm definitely like, I can see myself getting better and it's just like so fun. I love Merit Beauty. This is the Merit Beauty like bronzer, Merit Beauty blush. And I love that shit. I really do. It's a little extra color and just do it a little. Let's grab a purse and a jacket and get on the road. Good morning. Clearly didn't think it was necessary to fix my hair before filming this. This is how I woke up. I fell asleep on the couch at like eight. So you were out. Like I hate falling asleep on the couch cause then I get ready for bed, like do my skincare and then get into bed and I'm not tired anymore. But now it's morning time and here we are. So the attempt at the weekend vlog that I was doing for you guys, just I didn't film a single thing all weekend. Cause it was just like, it's like go, 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 go. And I never film and so now it's Monday. So welcome back, it's Monday. It's gonna be a really fun week. I have a lot of recording to do at Dear Media and um, well, that's actually it. But my first fun thing that I'm doing at Dear Media is recording my podcast with Cody. What's so funny? My hair. Oh. It looks good. It goes like up and then in and then out. I think it looks good. Cody's coming on circle time finally, and we're gonna talk about the wedding, and I'm excited. Oh, it's raining until Thursday. Say good morning. So handsome. Look what Marsh did while Cody knocked over a balloon, but. Sorry. Here he is. Here's Marsh. He decorated for us and got us a little champagne. How cute. We just filmed or recorded and it went really well, so go listen. It was really fun. That was a really fun episode. So good. I knew it. I knew that would be a fun one. Hey, this vlog is so all over the place. I didn't really film it all last week and I said I was going to. Oh no. So it's a new week. We're having meatball subs. Yesterday was my mom's birthday and she made homemade sauce and meatballs. She gave us some extras, some leftovers. So tonight we're having meatball subs. How do you say hi? 
Hello. So I'm pretty excited about our MBSs. Cody is like committing a crime. He's gonna put this on his meatball sub. Full dinner update for you guys. And I'm gonna do a much better job of vlogging this week. But this has been like a fun little sporadic vlog that I kind of enjoy. Yeah, I was just taking a little pick of it. How is it? It's a big swallow. This is so good. A little more on top here. Oh my God, that is so good. Good morning, angels. I'm coming home from Pilates. I don't know if this is true, actually. I don't know if this is something I heard one time and is true, something I heard one time and was false or something I completely made up myself. So here we go. You know how traffic lights have like sensors, so if they think that nobody is waiting for the light to change, they'll just keep it green for the other cars. So if you don't go up far enough, they won't sense that there's a car there. They'll stay red, if that makes sense. So like this car wasn't far enough up by the light, and so it just was staying red for a really long time. And the other light was still green. I don't know if I made that theory up, or if, if it's true, but right when he moved up, it changed, so. I don't know what I ever expect that to taste like. It's pretty good, I guess. It makes me feel like, so healthy. Oh my God, I just got like a really big whiff of cheese. <laughs> I don't know what, what kind of mood we're in today, folks, but it's gonna be a good day. I'm going to lunch with my friend Pia, who I went to high school with, and I really haven't seen her in like forever, but we were really good friends in high school, and then I never like really saw her again, I guess. She lives in New York, but she's in town, and I'm gonna go get lunch with her, and I'm pretty excited, honestly. It's gonna be great to see her. And that meatball sub put me straight to sleep last night. Wait, you know what we watched last night? We watched A Man Called Otto. Has anyone seen that with Tom Hanks? Oh my God, I was weeping, weeping. It's one of those ones where you don't just cry at the end, you cry like a little bit throughout the whole thing. Hi, I just got back from lunch, which is a complete lie. I got back from lunch like three hours ago. Um, I've kind of just been hanging out. It was so nice to see my friend. And now it's a, oh. Now it's about to be dinner time and, oh my God. It's about to be dinner time and I'm going to dinner tonight with my friend Cameron, Cameron Rogers. She was on my podcast. So Cameron is in town, she lives in New Jersey. She's in town and we're going to dinner. And so this is what I'm wearing right now. My jeans are a gold, a goldie. My shirt is from Depop. I don't think I'm gonna wear the pants. I think I'm gonna change into like a skirt and some shoes and keep this on. So we're going like day to night. Kind of, except I'm changing half the outfit, so it's not really like day to night. It's kind of just like keeping the same shirt on. But I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So, so here it is. I'm wearing these like kind of like cowboy-ish boots. I splurged on these. They're from Kate, and then this skirt that I got from Vintage Store. This looks cute. Is genuinely none of my business. Hey. Um, okay, so that is the end of this weird ass vlog. Sorry that was kind of all over the place, but that's okay. That's just like life sometimes. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm filming the next one now. So I love you all and thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.